Yeah, I don't think she became a concert violinist. I think she's teaching somewhere. Him? Yeah, I remember him. He was amazing. I think he just plays piano for a church and a couple of community choirs. What a waste. Oh, gosh, so much promise. And she just gave it all up. I think she, she got pregnant and I think she's a piano teacher. Even if it's not that obvious, there is this widespread understanding that only the star turn entails or evening dress is the proper fulfillment, the proper destination of a musical journey. But really, you measure the endorphin levels of people leaving a concert and compare them with the endorphin levels of those leaving a choir practice? And how many world-class pianists were turned away from a performance of the Rhapsody on the theme of Paganini? It is vaster than you think. But how many choirs are in dire need of a pianist? Yeah, granted, the choir probably can't pay what that large orchestral society possibly can pay, but it's a one-off. There are long, long swathes of nothingness, humiliating auditions and bad restaurants on the long, long road of touring. Josephine Preston Peabody once wrote, the little road says go, the little house says stay. Josephine wrote verses to save her family from poverty when her father died. They're very beautiful. They rhyme, they speak directly, and they rhapsodize small things and large things. The music you're hearing was written by Dorothy Park, a composer from Ulster, Northern Ireland. The Grove Dictionary of Women Composers says of Dorothy, she wrote many songs and piano pieces that were used in music competitions. Very approachable, but of a rather naive simplicity. There's a real implied sneer there. Time and again, music history ignores those who wrote simpler forms. Music that doesn't require a virtuoso. It's a kind of snubbing of accessible art. And with recent critics and music historians raising the status of those who wrote pop songs in the 1950s, 60s and 70s to a kind of godlike status, perhaps now is the time to reconsider those who wrote songs and pieces for pupils to play. Dorothy Park is mentioned in many newspapers during her life, announcements that she's taking more pupils, that she's written a song for local performance, Students of hers have triumphed in festivals. Music is a beautiful, thrilling, challenging activity that we should all be able to have access to, to express, to unwind, to make a dull day better, and maybe, just maybe, stand up on a concert platform wearing an evening gown, playing like a demon. And those who enable all of this, in young and old, are angels, are gods and goddesses. And please, if you have a tribute to one of these angels who gave you or someone you knew the transformative power of music, please leave it in the comments. Dorothy Park, Josephine Preston Peabody and The House and the Road are featured in She Wrote the Songs, both the CD coming out very soon and the book. Not so long ago I was playing and singing at a wedding. It's cheaper if you get one person to do both. And I'm not the best pianist, but I was just sort of improvising on some of the favorite songs of the bride as people were coming in. And when the whole thing was over, this lady came up to me and she said, I was watching you at the piano, she said. And, and I thought, you know, that looks like a lot of fun. And I think maybe I can do that. And so she said that she was going to go out and get some lessons. And I just had this vision of her in her living room playing a piano for the first time. And it made me so happy. I mean, that's what it's all about. So this hair is a perm. It doesn't naturally do this. It was an experiment. You know, if you can't have fun with your hair, what can you have fun with? I'm kind of going for the, for the Albrecht Dürer look. 
who wrote songs and pupils for peace, songs and pieces for pupils. And how many world-class pianists were turned away for every performance of Rhapsody on the theme of Paganina. Paganina, Paganina. Nina, oh Paganina, oh Paganina from Argentina. That's probably culturally insensitive.